Welcome everyone, here is how to get the real Oizo display and real dynamic islands in any iPhone. And when I mean any iPhone, I mean any iPhone, seriously. iPhone 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, all fully supported. So first of all, let's open up our about pages settings. So head to general and then about. And at the time recording, all iOS versions are supported. So I'm running the latest iOS 26.1. So iOS 26.1 down to iOS 18.0, fully supported, you'll be good to go. However, Apple are expected to release a patch with iOS 26.2, which will block everything shown in this video. So if you're on iOS 26.2, 26.3, iOS 27, 28, this might not work, continue at your own risk. If you're happy to proceed, let's start by opening up settings. Then I will need to tap your name at the very top. Then you're going to look for the Find My option. And we first need to start by turning off the Find My iPhone. This is a temporary procedure. Once you have all of the tweaks like always on display, dynamic island applied, you can turn this one back on. We also need to from our settings scroll down until we see the passcode option and you will need to turn off your passcode this is also temporary once you've done the dynamic island always on display you can turn back on your password no problem we are now going to open up our safari browser and i want you to google for save mobile jest ios and you're looking for this routine hub website, I will leave the links you need in the description. So on this website, you'll see save mobile gesture. On this website, I will need to scroll all the way down and the option you want is the get shortcut button. There's like these download advertisements, they are ads, just tap get shortcut right here. And then this is an advertisement as well. So just tap the close button. So just tap close to remove the ad. And then you can see it will download the shortcut just like this. If it gives you the option to add shortcut, excellent. Just tap on add shortcut and it will be added to your device. Now, sometimes I tap get shortcut and it wants you to sign in with an account. What I find works is if you just reload the page and then we'll just close out this and we'll try the get shortcut option again. You can see that time it works. If they start forcing you to create an account and that doesn't work, then you'll just have to choose the sign up option and just quickly create an account and then the get shortcut button will start working. Once we have the save mobile gestalt shortcut, we're just gonna tap it to run it. And then if it asks for any permissions, you're just going to always allow these permissions. So I'll just always allow them like this. There's currently a bug where it says an update's available, but when you download the update, it like doesn't do anything. So if you do have this option, I hope this will be fixed in later, but just choose the later option. There's no update that exists, so just tap on later. Then we see save mobile gestalt, and I want you to choose the manual method right here. So just select this one, and then allow the permission to copy to clipboard like this. It will then show the instructions. So let's tap on OK and I'll show you what to do. So first of all, we're going to tap where it says click here. Then it's gonna show this graph. We are looking for the file option. So it's right here. You can just move your finger around if needed. So just tap on file. And then you're going to see the NS string it should be at the bottom, just double check NS string, tap into here. And then in here, you're gonna tap on the empty space once and then tap in that same place again. And then we're gonna choose the select all like this. And then we'll tap on copy right here. If you prefer, you can always just double tap on the text and then slide this blue thing across to select it all. But I just prefer the double tap select tool copy option and then once this text is copied let's tap the back button here and then you're going to tap the tick at the top right and then just tap the back button and then tap tick again and now 
it will say allow save mobile jest alt to share dictionary let's allow this one like this and then we will have our mobile jest alt file which is required to do the tweaking we can just tap save to files like this and then inside of here we'll just tap back until we see browse and then just choose on my iPhone and then we'll just tap the save and we have now saved the mobile jest alt file into our device to access this file let's look for and search for the files app so we'll see files app we'll open this one up and we'll tap on the browse at the bottom right and then we'll just go back until we see the browse here and we'll just choose all my iPhone and we should see the property list or plist or just any new .plist file that was created. Once we have this, let's long press on this file and we now need to move this file to a computer. So I'm gonna tap on the share button here and then I'm going to email the file to my computer. So I'll just email myself with the same email address. You could also use AirDrop, you can use Discord, you can use Google Drive any way to move this file, use it. I'm personally gonna use email. Now we just need to move to our computer. You can use Windows or Mac. So I'm going to move right now and I'll show you the next steps. Let's first of all download the Python application. All links will be in the description. So on Windows, it will say download Python install manager. On Mac, it will just say download Python. Now on Windows and Mac, you will see the download completes. Click on this one. And then if it gives this open executable file message, just click OK. I would recommend turning off launch when ready. It doesn't matter if this is on, but just leave it off and then click install Python like this. Once installed, we can exit out of this one. For Mac users, when the setup loads, it will look slightly different. Just follow the on-screen instructions. Now let's head into the Nugget GitHub link. I'll have this one in the description. And on this website, you can first of all see the source code. This shows you that the software is safe to use because any developer can check the code. And if there's viruses, if there's anything dodgy, then it will be flagged up. But what we're gonna do first is scroll all the way down and keep on scrolling until you see requirements. For Windows users only, click on the Windows button and then click the app from iTunes Apple website button. This will take you to the iTunes download and just click the download to download iTunes. Download and set up iTunes from this link even if you've already done it in the past. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna scroll up and we're gonna look for the releases button. So let's click on releases right here. It will show you the latest release. This version number might be higher in the future. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the Nugget download. So you have Nugget Mac OS ARM, which is M1, M2, M4 Pro Max chips, the Apple Silicon. You have Intel, Mac OS, the ancient ones. And then you have Nugget Windows, I'm on Windows, so I'm going to click on Nugget Windows and I will download the zip file like this. Now on Windows, once this is downloaded, you just need to click into the .zip. We see the Nugget folder. We just click into this one and then we click Extract All. And then we just click Extract and that will extract the Nugget application to our computer. On Mac, you just drag and drop the Nugget app into the Applications folder and then you'll be good to go. Before we proceed, regardless on Windows or Mac, I will need to restart your computer just to prevent any errors, any issues from showing up. To use the Nugget app, let's first of all locate the app and then we will see Nugget. Let's double click to open this one. Now on Windows, it will stay starting Nugget inside of a CMD window. On Mac, it just opens up the app directly. If you see this runtime warning, ignore the warning. Nugget will work perfectly fine. If on Windows, it says Windows protected your PC, just click the more info option and then click run anyway and just agree to any permissions that are requested. Before we proceed with Nugget, we now need to move to the iPhone quickly. And I just want you to plug in your iPhone to the computer. So plug it with the charging cable and then 
you should see on the device, trust this computer. If not, unlock the iPhone and then we'll just tap on trust. If you don't see this prompt, don't worry too much. You might have already trusted the computer in the past. Back on Nugget, we're just gonna click the refresh button to refresh and you should see your device showing up right here with the correct software. We are now going to click on the apply button here and then we're gonna select choose gestalt file. So that was the file that we extracted from our iPhone using the shortcuts app. So click into this one and then just look for that file. So mine is just called property list. So we'll just click on open and then we can see that the current gestalt file location and we see the file that we just selected. Excellent. Now let's go into the mobile gestalt option and in here, if we want always on display, just scroll down and turn on the enable always on display option. If this on its own doesn't work, we can later try turning on enable AOD vibrancy, but just leave this one on, try this alone for now. For the dynamic islands, you will see device subtype preset. And if we click into this one, you can see all of these options. So if you have a Pro Max iPhone or a Plus iPhone, just choose the preset for Pro Max. So 15 Pro Max, 16 Pro Max, 14 Pro Max. If you just have a regular Pro model or just a non-plus, this is just regular iPhone 12 Pro, I'm firstly gonna choose the iPhone 16 Pro non-max dynamic island option. So there we go, that is selected right here. Once your choices have been selected, Let's head into the apply option. Before we click apply changes, understand that we will need to do this a minimum of twice. So the first time we click apply, you will see the enabling developer mode message. So what this means is if we look at our iPhone, it's gonna restart the device, but it won't apply dynamic islands, it won't apply always on display. Instead, it's turning on developer mode. Now turning on developer mode is extremely buggy, using Nugget at the time of recording. And I'm currently on the seventh attempt of doing this, but it will eventually work as long as you follow my steps very closely. So after the iPhone's restarted, what you're looking for is in about 10 seconds, it should give a trust this computer message. So we're gonna wait for that message to appear any second now. And then we see trust, so just tap on trust. So we'll tap trust. Once you trust, unplug the iPhone, replug it in immediately, just like that. Once this is done, we just need to patiently wait and see if we have the uh, developer mode enabled message. If we don't see that, we might see an error in Nugget instead. So let's just tap trust again, and let's see if it's going to work. I'm just going to fast forward this. You can see, there we go, developer mode has been enabled. It'll be a notification that shows up, number one. And number two, you can verify it's enabled by going into your settings and then head into privacy and security. And then you should see under security, developer mode, and it's on. Don't turn it off, just leave it as it is. Now, again, this took seven attempts, I'm not joking. What typically happens is if I go to my desktop, instead of saying, seeing developer mode enabled, what you will see instead is this other error that appears. If that happens, don't worry. All you need to do is just close out of Nugget, right? Reopen it. And then before you try again, head to your iPhone and just turn off and restart the device. So turn off, restart try nugget again again it did take me seven attempts hopefully it won't take you seven attempts if developer mode did apply successfully it's fully showing in your iphone then we can proceed to apply the mobile gestalt options so what i'd recommend you do is just close out and reload the nugget app just like this and then once it loads up we we'll just need to do the exact same stuff from earlier so i'm going through it quickly I've just chosen the mobile gestalt file again. And then in mobile gestalt, I'm gonna choose my options. So the dynamic islands, the always on display. And then we click apply. And this time you're gonna click apply changes 
And what it's going to do is it's going to apply for real this time. Now, the software is buggy, so it might take a couple of attempts to apply. But if you look at the iPhone, it's opened up the Books app. Yes, the Books app. And we now need to download a book. Now, this sounds ridiculous, but you can see if I go to my uh, desktop here, you can see, please open Books app and download a book to continue. So we just need to download any book. It can be completely free. So let's find a free book. So in the Books app, I've just searched for free book. And then I'm just going to get this, uh, this free cookbook like this. And we'll just get this onto our device. So there we go. I have now downloaded the book. So <laughs> you might think this is a joke. This is not a joke. This actually works. So once the book has downloaded, you will notice the Books app will crash. It will reopen. And then you can see the iPhone is going to do a little restart. Now you will notice immediately I have Dynamic Island there, but also let's go back here. You can see success, all done, beautiful. So back on the iPhone, you can see I have the real always on display showing up right here. That's always on display. You can see I've locked the iPhone and I have that real Dynamic Island. So you will notice that it can say uh, stage one completed, the script will open Books app to finish stage two. We'll just tap on done. Now this is already you know, completed, but uh, we'll just open Books app just to be safe, but this is already done. So Dynamic Island is kind of hidden right now. Okay guys, so just a simple restart of my iPhone, so just pound volume down, turn off, turn back on. That has fixed the Dynamic Island. You can see everything is now fully working. We're all good to go. Real dynamic eyelids, real eyes on display. Now, if you do want to revert the changes, please keep watching. Uh, it's important you understand this. Either you can just update the software in your settings, that will revert the changes, but so uh, you won't be able to enable dynamic eyelid in the future. You can also go into Nugget, and if you just choose your mobile gestalt file again, and under mobile gestalt, you just remove your tweaks you chose earlier, and then click apply then that will just revert all of the changes nice and simple. Now, real quick, YouTube don't promote my videos like they used to. So if you found this video useful, you got always on display, you got Dynamic Islands in your iPhone, it really would mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below and just left a comment saying, hey, I found this video useful, thank you. Any questions, any comments, just let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try my best to get back to you. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye-bye.